It is day four of the epic move. We have been moving little stuff for days. We moved the bed. Bed is here. So we've actually spent a couple nights here. There's something living in that column and in the roof. Um, movers are here. That's, hey, hi, hi. hello. Sorry, I was looking for one of my sockets. Oh, I don't know where you put them. Because uh, I gotta take the pigtail off the back of the dryer. We're getting rid of the washer and dryer that we bought with this place because they're full of like garbage and gross. And we're just using ours because we have a pair. Um, but it's exciting. This is where all the furniture arrives because we actually hired people to do it. It's just expensive. Um, but that's exciting. Because that means we're almost done. We're almost done. I wanted to show you my front door because I can before they start moving stuff in. I have to like babysit this so the cats don't get out. But this is my front door and I'm going to paint it TARDIS blue and then I'm going to do like highlights for all this little stuff. So this will actually be a live stream because I'm going to try and like plan it out in Photoshop before we commit to anything. So this is it. <laughs> we're uh, we're done moving. Are you excited? I'm excited. And then we get to renovate. We already took this door off. There was a beautiful door here. It's in the basement. Um, there's a ton of mirrors. Hi. They left like mirrors everywhere. I gotta take a mirror off of something. Um, I think the first thing we're actually gonna do is demolition the closet in the bedroom. Um, and again, we'll live stream that, but I'll also put a video together so you could watch it anywhere. So, I'm tired. But here we go. Get excited. Um, we've begun demolition a little early. <laughs> <laughs> this is all to get the couch in. So the sofa is now in, which is lovely. Oh, and there's a cushion. Oh, cool, I can put the couch together. But uh, we didn't really anticipate that we were going to knock a light down almost immediately. Now, I thought it was really funny, and I thought Steve was going to be mad, but he thought it was, he was like, well, we're going to tear that light down anyway. But look, whoever hung it, if I'm trying to find the... Yeah, you see that? They didn't even use anchors or nothing. They're bringing in my big table. I love this table. I have to babysit. I guess I can put them in the back porch. Watch out, Steve! <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That's coming into here, so whatever way you want to go. I don't think it'll fit around that corner. Oh, jeez. There's stuff in there, Benjo. You might be able to get it around this corner. Yeah, that works. Say, you got the 5x5 five five in here. You can probably get that in here. That'll go perpendicular to the 5x5. Five five. Failed algebra. No, no, no. You mean, <laughs> don't you mean parallel alley? What? Parallel. Oh, is it parallel? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Well, this is really what he knows what he's talking about. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I promise I'm not doing the super troopers. I think it'd be better for the flow if it was over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's here or closer this way? It's good enough. We can, we can slide it back. Yeah, it, it, it does have felt sliders, so. Nice. We did that on purpose. I actually lifted it with a car jack to put the felt sliders on. Mm -hmm. yep. so. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, I thought that was one guy. We offered to help. Oh. How do we offer to help, man? Oh, wow, it's a two man thing. It is. Well, they're going to give you shit for it for the rest of the day. So. Oh, that's well, they do. <laughs> hey, I just ignore them nowadays. Yeah, no, I agree with you. This is the better side. Yeah. You want to like, get on there and see if it's centered? Oh, it's probably off, because to be honest, the, uh, when those things rotate, uh, okay. it's, uh, yeah, I can wind up. We might even have to spin it around. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, one thing left. You guys in the back. We do. Right. One thing left. What's left? The dresser that goes in the kitchen. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that one thing that we forgot about over and over and over. Hey, at least we got it. So, here we were. We were under the impression that we were going to demolish a closet in the bedroom first and then this came in and this is a 5x5 five five Ikea shelf that I put all my vinyl on um, but it's not up against the wall I'm going to show you that here in a second right Steve? what's up? the vinyl and the wall and the thing and the stuff oh on that shelf? yeah so that is the trim that's my foot that's our radiators and this is the shelf we're going to cut the trim right there all the way to the other side so that we can push this up against the wall and it'll be grand. You ready? As soon as I get my earmuffs. Okay.
So I discovered something interesting. What? Go look behind your shelf. It's our shelf, by the way. Um, that looks like an outlet. That is an outlet. Okay, so now what? Uh, I have to figure out which breaker it's on to make those two green lights disappear. How's that going? And so far the answer is none of them. Oh. Because I've tried every one that was labeled first floor receptacles and none of them are that breaker. Oh no. So I, uh, I've discovered which one the refrigerator is and not much else. So yeah, would you like to help me come flip switches? Uh, so does that mean I get to sit here and watch those lights? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll flip the switch and go, how about now? And then okay. you can tell me or not. Okay. Nope. Nope. No. No. Still on. Still on. Nope. There they go. Finally. Uh, well, the good news is that the only wire that goes into this outlet mm -hmm. goes in the downward direction. Okay. So that means that it doesn't continue up the wall and I don't have to worry about like this outlet being a feeder for another room for the second floor bedrooms that it claims to be on the circuit of. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can just eliminate this outlet, yank the wires down into the basement and cap them and then turn the power back on. Okay. And because I've said that and it sounds easy, it won't it be. It definitely won't be. Well, we thought that cutting the trim out was going to be easy. You know, the easiest thing we've done in this house is when the movers accidentally knocked the light out of the ceiling. <laughs> that was the easiest electrical work we've done. We've already fixed... Yeah, yes, 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 yes. We have already fixed that. Kind of. So we're on the third floor in the master bedroom. Well, we call it our master bedroom. That doesn't work. And the receptacles are dead. Yep. So what we've learned is that the... Out the breaker labeled Recept Second is apparently the dining room and the master bedroom, but not this room on the third floor. Does this one still work? This one still works. Oh, this poor office. At least. Let the, us carry on. Go. Well, oh, no, that the lighting work. the lighting doesn't work, but the outlets do. Weird. So. Okay. So what you, what you're saying is that we're just gonna have to redo all of the electrical in this house. Yeah, it is a total mess. Okay. As you're about to see. You were planning on doing that anyway, though. Well, I didn't think it was gonna be this extensive of a job. Oh. But, yeah. I don't know what gave you that impression that it wasn't going to be so bad. Well, I was hoping that someone at least had taken some ounce of care when they did it, and the answer is absolutely not. There was no, no care. That's like... Is he downstairs? No. <gasps> Get out of the basement! Where's Dan? I don't know. If she's down here, I'll get her out. Okay. So. You can tell this house is ancient. So this is our dining room feeder. Where they basically tied that line into these two, which go somewhere else. Okay. And that was stuffed up through that gap in the brick right there. Oh, great. So I basically came down here to... Cap the lines. Put a wire cap on this so okay. that we can turn that breaker back on. Okay, here's our basement. We have a lot of work to do. Like a lot of work to do. Like a lot of work it's a to do. It's spaghetti factory. <laughs> but yeah, this panel. Show me the panel. Hello. This is, this is the breaker. That <laughs> I see you've been labeling things. the dining room. Dining? This room is actually labeled second floor kitchen. Uh, that's the, this room where this panel is mm -hmm. in the basement. Uh, there is one called basement. Number Which is 13, 13, I guess. Yeah. So 1, 3, 5, 7, seven 9, 9 11, 11, 13. 13. That didn't seem to do a damn thing. Huh. However, if I turn off second floor kitchen, oh. there go all the basement lights. Ah! <laughs> so, I'm sorry, camera. I'm sorry, YouTube. Sorry, guys. So apparently, now that I've eliminated that outlet in the dining room, yes. um, I probably should label that breaker as master bedroom. I guess. That's what it really is. At least for now. It just got really quiet. Steve was doing the thing and the stuff. Let's go find out. I gotta drop something in the laundry room while I'm at it. I'm gonna fix these glasses someday. Alright, laundry room. Done. Hey, Steve! Steve? He's not even here. What the heck? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there's 
cut. <gasps> Just one. <laughs> oh. Hi, Steve. Hi. Tell me about your cut. Uh, we have a whole mall. I saw that. And then I'm going to chisel the rest out. <gasps> and I know of how I am with chisels, but I promise I won't bleed this time. You bled this morning. Well, that wasn't with a chisel. That was with metal tape on a dryer vent. It does look bad. It's like a true battle wound. Oh, goodness. You really hurt yourself. Yeah. Well, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's bad. <laughs> well, bad. You bled everywhere. I did. <laughs> everywhere. We had nothing to fix it. Right. <laughs> Have you sterilized that yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We learned a little bit about the construction yeah, of the house. Things. Ooh, plastic. Ugh, no, it's on the floor. Um, so the house is obviously constructed out of plaster. Here is said plaster, which also looks like it's in really poor shape. Like there's the, the stuff that they use behind the plaster, and then the actual you can see the layer of plaster that they put on it. So gross, right? Nasty. And here's our trim board, which is technically in like three different pieces, because this piece is separate from the big piece, and then there's a little shoe board. So that's great. But here, let's. Let's review. Where's your phone? Because you have a light source that I can use. Uh, mine's upstairs being dead. I plugged it in. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Uh, light. So here's our problem. So now that the trim is removed, you can see the really, really old wallpaper. Yep. Here's all the plaster. And then there's brick behind that. Mm -hmm. And then I guess some like weird one by two garbage. It actually might be a lot thicker than that. I think it's like the same thickness as the floor joists. Yeah, actually it looks a lot thicker than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't sound very thick. So anyway, that's what our house is made out of. It doesn't right. sound thick at all. Yeah. Well, and then <laughs> this, like this chunk here is where the outlet was. Right. So they drilled into the brick, which is a beautiful color. Right. Anyway, so our solution, because we wanted to push this beautiful shelf up against it, is I cut, we have canvas for a flag we're making, and I wanted to hot glue it, but all we have, we don't know where the hot glue gun is now. So I've taped it on. And it's going to go up against the wall anyway, and it's a temporary solution until we decide to come back and do the outlets again. Right. Boop! So that's it! We're going to push this up against the wall and see how it looks. Alright. I'm over, I'm over by about... I think it needs to come slightly two. towards me. Yeah, because I'm over by about a quarter inch. Alright, I'm pretty well on. Okay. How are you looking? Good. Alright, let's go. Are you in? Almost. I'm in. I mean, I'm not like. Up now, against now, the wall. now I'm in against the wall. Come leave mine. I feel like I'm hitting something. I'll let you do it. And I'll hold this up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that looks great. You can come this way a little bit. You are hitting something. Yeah, you can come this way a little bit. Yep, there you go. How are you? Are you in? Now I'm in it against the wall. Cool. I think we're gonna need to shim it. As you can see, it leans slightly yeah, yeah, yeah. forward. So yep. if I shim that. Here we go, hold it. You know where your shimmies are? Can you tell? I like it? I mean, it, it, it's obviously a different color, but it's not as obvious as I would have expected. See? <laughs> that worked really well. That's just, that's just fake now. I think over here it might be a little... Oh no! That, that worked much, much better than I thought it would. Wow. <laughs> Who knew? So this next part, which is kind of our ending, was recorded on the eldest's birthday. Her name is Evelyn. And while it may not mean a lot to you, it struck me in a way and it means a lot to me. So we celebrated just a little bitty celebration at the new house. While it was still in shambles, it's still in shambles. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> um, and there was just something about this moment that really struck me, so... I'm just going to share it, and we'll see you guys in a week, maybe sooner, for the next episode. But we are on Twitch daily, so come check us out on Twitch on a regular basis. Seriously. Thanks, you guys. Whoa. That's a huge box of markers! Oh, no. Now you can color with more colors! That's so many! They're almost adult and ones. they're called Super Tips, so I'm going to be really good with these. I bet you are. All right, what's next? Take some paper. Okay. But not your Minecraft wallet? No, because I'm gonna save the presents right here. Okay. You ready for the big one? Yes. Here, you want me to move your cup so you don't spill it? Can I have your cup? Okay.
Can I reach up? Thanks, Dad, because I can't reach across the table. <gasps> what is it? Oh my god. Yeah, what else is in there? Um, all the Alex and a Steve. Whoa, you got both? Yes. Looks like you got a horse and a pig. A sign that says Fluffy. You got name tags? What? That's Rose crazy. Tea. Happy birthday. Water piece. Are you excited nice. to build it? Okay, well it is your birthday, so if you and your dad want to rebuild it, you can build it. Go. She ate that first. <laughs> she literally ate all the frosting off and then started on the cupcake. <laughs>